in team fights makes it very difficult for him to stay active and be hitting. Good setup uh, for OD. And they have plenty of damage to Dumb One doing pretty well here. This pilot I don't just creep in under cover of Invis. Oh, here comes Puppy. 4F trying to bait this one a bit. Out comes the Ignite. The 4F so low, I don't know if he can get the kill. Actually, that physical damage from the Ogre Auto Tech gets the job done. It's so so to the rescue. And now Puppy might be able to get a secondary kill here. There is a salve on Super, but if he could just ignite him and keep on clubbing him, I don't know that Super makes it out. He's got the slightly better fusion. Oh, they found Xiaowei bottom. Quick waveform over the top after the fortune's end. We'll secure an easy kill while I'm on the top lane. They want to make a go here, Super. Doesn't Damana for a Blade Fury? He already committed the Omni Sledge, trying to find a kill of his own. He will get back. Brought down in the end. It's a secret. Oh, but Super with the high ground advantage. They also have Chrono available. No TP on 4 though. This could really come back to haunt them. DD up on one. It's only going to take a couple of auto techs to secure kill. They go to Mithne, who gets absolutely chunked down. Mid one, just bringing the pain onto him. But the Death Force comes through. Together with the Maldi, forcing back that faceless void. Still yet to even think about a teleport scroll pickup. Stuck around top the whole time. With the kind of started one had. He is definitely making life hard for the Huskar. And those orbs, even though there's not all that much in the way of items on the OG, still hurt a lot. But this could be the engine for the comeback. Young for you, grabbing his blink. For if has the chrono, he's gonna go back in. Super has an omni, but don't know that he gets it off here. The pile of die nukes raining in, and he will end up popping there to an extra purifying flame. It's already level three. So another death for the juggernaut. This one, not so much his fault, but. They are starting to add up. The Secret make their move on the mid lane. Simultaneously trying to go on Monet. Can they keep him alive? Shall we? Doesn't have any points in the heal. He will drop very quickly. And now Young for you. Getting off the last. trying to focus down mid one. But it's instantly perks off. Because Twilight died. Just hit level 6. But perfect timing for that. Can't even kill on Puppy. Who barely limps away with just a sliver of HP. The lone death is that OD. And it's going to come at greater cost. As MP has joined the fight. He makes it a team one. Secret. As a low speed could potentially try to make a move on Super Astral. And so ultimate would be close to killing him, but Young for you does have a last already. He wants to use it, doesn't have the flame break to be able to turn this fight around, but they relocate forward, moving on to mid one. Will be able to almost focus him down. They get that second backline kill, and now they will turn around for the OD. Mid one defaults well. They make it two for nothing. So that first relocate, a successful debut, and playing around the chronosphere down quite nicely. They almost get a third kill in the form. Uh, Chrono comes through to his connection, gets the bash on Monet, gets the kill on him, and now turning for Super. No Omni Slash available any longer, but the IO is here with that level up overcharge to try and save him. MP turning to the north, focusing on Xiaohei, muscles down that Witch Hawker. And now flapping away it will be young for you, but overall for LGD, that last minute or so, God, they force out a Chrono. Nice Malix here by Xiaohei, but is there any sort of follow up? Gets Chunked down by mid one, brought quite low, and now the Witch Doctor, or uh, sorry, excuse me, the Huskar arrives, moves on the pilot, I gets the ultimate off on himself, stalling while the rest of the team retreats. It will be a noble sacrifice here as he tries to kill off Xiao Aid. He will be unsuccessful in that attempt, but he walks the pit. And the Roshan. Roshan LGD can really do to stop them from split pushing. Try to bait with the Tusker, the Chrono committed, but it also catches LPC. He's a fairly squishy IO. Is he gonna be able to get up that squad? He will, but he ends up dropping anyway. The OD may fall after the dash, but already they just cracked open. A support down as well. Mid one stadium ground. The hammer drop blows up to a complete slaughter in the top lane. Straight on the money. They fought their way through a Huskar agent. He ain't so scary after all. It's the Ogre who's the real beast in the front line. Puppy stands his ground. They team wipe their way through an Aegis. Six to nil in that particular fight now, but some decent damage done and pretty desperate smoke by LGD. They just lost the fight with the Aegis, got team up and back for nothing, and now they're gonna try to make something happen in the mid lane. They do grab Puppy, but he's instantly kept alive by the false promise. They committed dunk onto him, so they just turn back and kill up on a Chrono currently on cooldown, and LGD trying to capitalize on that very fact, but already super low. They won't risk the fight. 
without the chrono, but 20 seconds it holds up a blink on Foreb. BOT's on the morph lane along with that Lincoln's already. So Oh dear, three hero chrono, shall we? Not caught, but a good time dilation there. LPC just pet himself right into the chrono. He didn't get to relocate out, it looks like, as the Astral Kings are holding Monet in position. The rest of LGD on the run, 4F looking for the bash to finish off the way in the backside, but also elsewhere in the front line. Down goes the Huskar to combine him with the Bear Rider, and on top of that, shall we? Falls, that's three more, four more hitting the. Ah, uh, poor Super. One, maybe who at least hope to force out a Chrono. He instead he goes for the enemy, but already prepared with Pilot Eye with the False Promise. And then Healing Ward, the last survivor of this particular gank, also will fall. No mercy from poor Evan. Oh, uh, let's see how this LGD gank goes on the other side. They look for MP, they've got to break the Lincolns and Lasso, and focus on that. He has the Joy Scepter on top of this. Can they really get up to those Death Warden Maledict? He's so damn tanky. And out he goes, just calmly able to make it away, and the whole team's suddenly there to turn this thing around. Chronosphere comes through, the Morphling kept alive, Monet getting clubbed down by an Ogre, death by a support hitting you inside of Chrono. Now that's embarrassing. Three, about to be four unless LPC can keep himself away, and actually it will be four, not five. The lone survivor, a puny eye. And now that's, that's it. Team C Well, the folks out there, they wanted the next slide, and uh, the final slide of this one is a decisive Team Seeker victory, gods. PowerPoint concluded.